we're back again. And uh, if you did well with that previous example, I just wanted to introduce the idea of having multiple row number functions working in the same query. So we left off here where we had the uh, day rank within the quarter partition. But what if we wanted to get the top day per quarter, but alongside that in the data, we wanted the top day per month? All right, well, they're probably going to be the same, but just for illustrative purposes, let's take a look at it. So this is what we ended up with here. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste so I can post that to a gist later for everybody following the course. I'll comment it out here for now with command K. Whoops, command K there. Great. So really we need to go back in here and add a, uh, the month. So we get the month from, uh, uh, from date. And let's just get rid of this for now because it's not helping me understand what's happening. I'm just making this up as I go along. So here's the quarter. Um, we're going to want to call this month just to keep it interpretable. And uh, the day rank is still corresponding to, uh, let's call it day rank for the quarter. And let me just uh, control D. And let's do day rank for the month. And it's really easy, actually. All we're going to have to do is change uh, t.month. And all we're going to do is hit F5. We're going to run the query. And uh, let's see what happens here. So we have our date, and we have our quarter, we have our month. Let's order it by, um, by one just to... Well, let's see. Why is our day rank quarter and our day rank within the month different? Okay. So our day rank per quarter is addressing the best day per quarter. So here, um, number 10, the 10th best day in the quarter is 126 of 2007. Uh, the best day in the month of January, uh, not, I'm sorry, not the best day in the month of January, but the sixth best day in the month of January is 126. So let me just, let me just say that one more time. So let's scroll down. So we're in Q4, right? Um, December 20th, 2007 is the 40th best day in Q4 but it's the 15th best day in December. So you see that we were able to reuse row number to create different ranks based upon the partition. Is it going to be the best day per quarter or is it going to be the best day per month? And that is uh, sometimes, it's not that common. Usually in practice, you end up having to use one of these things just to filter down a set of rows. But um, it's just good to know that you're not restricted to using it one time. And next video, we'll start looking at this in the context of the DVD rental database again when we revisit how to start thinking about first purchases and other customer behavior actions, which are uh, very relevant to, uh, to business analytics. Okay, see you then.